Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Ruth with Olive Gray Avenue. We do DIY and design here and this week's video is going to be about the one room challenge. I actually saw some people participate in it, some designers last year. I was super jelly. Man, how do you get in on that? Then I actually found a friend on Instagram post about how you can sign up for it as a guest participant. No, I'm not featured. That would be amazing, but maybe one day. So I'm gonna be a guest participant in the One Room Challenge, and let me tell you what that means. Better Home and Garden is the official media partner for the One Room Challenge. Fancy, right? So the One Room Challenge has a simple motto. They are going to provide participants with support to transform a whole room in six weeks. The One Room Challenge is not a competition. It is a celebration of creativity, ideas, and inspiration amongst designers. Make sure to stay tuned to the very end of this video because I will be sharing with y'all the mood board I came up with with all of the ideas and designs I have for this space, so stick around. I know you're dying to know which room we chose. Let me not keep you in suspense any longer. We are going to be transforming our half bath. The half bath is really an underappreciated room. It's a room that every single guest goes into. What is unique about our half bathroom is that it is enormous. You could fit a whole tub, shower, whatever, in there. I don't know why they made it so large, but they did. You feel very exposed when you're in that room. So when we moved into this house, what I did to help with that feeling was painting the room. So I originally painted it a deep maroon color. Basically with dark colors, it'll help the room feel smaller. Painting is literally all I did to this room this entire time. Other than that, it is a completely builder basic powder room. It has a pedestal sink, a toilet, and a whole lot of space. That's it. All of the fixtures are chrome, really builder basic, which I am not a fan of at all. I don't really know who is. We chose a powder room or half bath to do this renovation in because it is a room that I have been wanting to transform as well as we have quite a few materials to actually complete this room. I've just not done anything with them. They're just sitting in my garage. Like, hello? Part of the point of the One Room Challenge is to motivate each other and inspire each other. So this is my inspiration to actually get this room done. The original style and idea that I had for this room was a vintage glam style, which sounds gorgeous, but if you know me or have seen any part of the rest of my house, I do not have a vintage glam style. I may like it, but my home is not vintage glam. By the way, you can check out my home tour. I go through my entire house at the beginning of this year so you can see where I was with all of the progress and all the projects in my home at the beginning of 2020. And then by the end, we can see what kind of progress we made. Originally, I wanted to do a mercury mirror feature wall. It sounded gorgeous to me, but the problem was it was going to be stupid expensive, like over $500. And that's just not worth it to me in a powder room for one small wall. No. I could figure out how to get cheap mirrors, distress them, make them look kind of that mercury distressed look, but I really wanted small beveled tiles. And that just wasn't in the budget. I scratched that idea and moved on from it, but could really never nail down another cohesive idea for what I wanted in that space. The One Room Challenge has given me another opportunity to revisit this room and really think about what I want when guests visit my home. I wanted to make a statement but I also wanted it to stay true to my style and my home. Since this style really didn't fit with anything else in my home, I just nixed the whole thing. Now I've come up with a plan that is much truer to my style, to my home. It's really gonna let me focus on one space, put a whole lot of effort into it, and fully complete a space that I love, hopefully. 
Now, during this challenge, here are the main things that I plan to accomplish. Number one, new paint color. I do love the maroon. I did just paint it a year or two ago, but it just doesn't fit anymore and I just want to change it. And that's the great thing about paint. You can just change it whenever. So I'm going to change the paint color from the maroon. I'm still going to stick with a dark color because I do still need to make the room feel not so massive. Number two, the vanity. I have a builder grade pedestal sink. The worst, right? Nothing screams builder basic more than a pedestal sink. You can barely put a soap dispenser on there. They have no storage. They're not cute. I'm sorry if I'm offending any pedestal sink lovers out there, but they're horrid. So, Since I hate pedestal sinks so much, what we'll be doing is completely tearing it out and replacing with a beautiful, small vanity. My requirements for it will be to have a little bit of storage, modern, kind of traditional. Number three, add light. Like I mentioned, this room is enormous and there is one light in there. It's the two bulb light that goes above the mirror. There's plenty of light where that light actually is, but overall the room is very dark. With such a big open space on the other side of the toilet and the other side of the room is to put a beautiful pendant light. I'm very excited about that part of the project. Who knows which one I'll find or make. Maybe I'll make one. DIY. Hello. Number four is a feature wall. Like I mentioned, my original plan was to do a mercury mirror wall. Since that is off the table, I had to figure out another way to do a beautiful feature wall that also fit my style. My requirements for this is going to be cost effective and something I really love. I have a growing affinity for plants and just natural elements, natural wood. I think this might be the perfect opportunity to incorporate some of that. What I'm thinking of is a small slat wall. I could do vertical, maybe mix it up some. We'll see. Just a natural wood element, I think, would be really nice in here. Number five, I'm going to upgrade all the fixtures. I'm going to be replacing the light above the vanity, the toilet paper holder, the towel holder, and I'm going to be turning our Builder Basic mirror into a custom modern mirror. It should be pretty easy and very cheap. And finally, number six, I want to be able to fill the large space in this bathroom to not make it feel crowded, but just cozy. A few months ago, I actually found a dresser on Craigslist. It was the perfect sizing and it wasn't cute, but it had potential. So it's been sitting in my garage for six months at least. And now I'm actually going to get around to refinishing it. I'm going to be doing some really cool things to it. And it'll go right perfectly into that space. When I was looking for the dresser, I wasn't looking for a beautiful dresser. I was looking for good bones. Something I could sand down that had unique structure. This one has potential. It gives you the greatest feeling to finish a room from top to bottom 100%. The One Room Challenge starts on May 8th. So I cannot wait to show you the process, the progress, all of the projects we're going to be doing in this challenge. I can't wait to see what the transformation looks like. I hope you can't either. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below to follow along with the progress of this project and challenge and many, many more. Bye. Or powder room in our downstairs and that sounds dirty I have been dreaming about a pedest let me rewind what's that called in the downstairs of the house yeah <laughs>